How much should church musicians be paid? And are you being paid fairly or are you being taken advantage of? I spent the last year surveying musicians from all over the world, from ministers of music to keys and organ players and bass players and guitar players and drummers and even MDs. And I have the perfect pay scale that's gonna show you exactly what you should be getting paid as a church musician. And I'm giving it to you in this video. So I talked to hundreds of musicians, including all of the players I named, and I got the numbers for how much they were getting paid along with the averages for what the church musicians in their area were getting paid. I got figures from musicians from LA, New York, Chicago, and Texas, and a few other places from around the world. Then I took all of these numbers and I made averages for what each church musician position is paid. I also asked them if the amount of years of experience they had affected their pay and they all said yes so i broke the average pay down in terms of 5 10 15 and 20 years of experience and all of these averages were based on one sunday service and one rehearsal during the week now just a quick note about church size i wanted to factor the church size into this but what I found was that it was the smaller to medium sized churches that mostly had the musicians in the five to 10 years of experience range. And it was like the medium to large to mega churches that had the musicians that were getting paid the most and they had the most experience, like the 15 and 20 years of experience. But there was a lot of crossover in all of that too. So factoring in church size would have kind of made this system messy. Now let's jump in by starting with the vocalists and the singers and how much they get paid. And also, if you wanna download a PDF of this chart that you're gonna see so you can use it for your own purposes, you can do that at the link in the description of this video. Now, a lot of people still don't know this, but a lot of churches these days hire singers and vocalists to come in and be a part of their worship teams. You see it a lot in the larger churches, but you also see it in the smaller and medium sized churches too. And I will say that the singer or vocalist position in their pay is the one that didn't seem to matter much about how many years of experience they had. It was more of a type of, if you can sing, you can sing type of thing. But there were some differences. So the average pay for singers and vocalists with five years of experience was 50 to $75 a week. The average pay for singers with 10 years of experience was $100 a week. The average pay for 15 years of experience was $200 a week. And the average pay for 20 years plus experience was $300 a week. Now, moving on to guitarists, and one of the strange things that I found with this survey and surveying musicians is that not a lot of churches have guitarists. It's something you tend to see mostly in the moderately large to larger churches, but you also see them in the smaller churches too, but usually it's like, one of the older guys, one of the older Dinkins with a guitar that used to be a part of a quartet or something that don't want to give up his guitar and just goes to play at the church for free. But for the churches that do have guitarists, the breakdown was like this. For guitarists with five years or less experience, the average was $100 a week. The average pay for guitarists with 10 years of experience was $150 a week. For 15 years, it was $250 a week. And then for 20 years plus, it was $400 a week. Now, right before we get to bass players, drummers, and the other musicians pay, I'm on a mission to make this channel the most valuable resource for musicians like you and grow this channel to 100,000 subscribers this year. And your subscription will help. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So back in the day, say like 15, 20 years ago, not a lot of the smaller or even medium-sized churches had a bass player. And if they did, it was sort of like I mentioned with guitar players. It was one of the older guys or something from the church that had a bass and an amp and he just showed up and played. And he did that despite not being able to play any of the modern church music correctly. But what I discovered is a lot more of the smaller churches have paid bass players on their staff now. So the average pay breakdown for bass players is this. Bass players with five years and under experience 
averaged around $150 a week. And bass players with about 10 years or so of experience made $200 a week. Bass players with 15 years of experience made $300 a week, and then with 20 experience made $450 a week. Now, moving on to drums and drummers, and a crazy fact about drums is that it used to be considered for it to be a sin to have drums in a church. It's hard to see because virtually every church has a drummer and a drum set now, but just as early or as soon ago as like the late 70s, early 80s, people thought it was playing the devil's music to have drums in the church. And I really do think that drummers need to be paid more than these averages I'm about to mention because, you know, I'm a drummer myself. That's my first instrument, so I'm a little biased. But I'm kind of not surprised that the averages are what they are because, and they may be controversial to say, but a lot of drummers don't do the work. They listen to and learn songs with the phone up to their ear right before the service is about to start and all of that. But that's another story. So the breakdown for drummers was this. Drummers with five years of experience made $150 a week. Drummers with 10 years of experience made $250 a week. Drummers with 15 years of experience made $325 a week. And then drummers with 20 years of experience made $450 a week. Now moving on to organ players, and one of the things that I found out that was surprising to me in this research is that I thought that keyboard players and organ players were pretty much gonna make the same amount of money because they pretty much do the same thing, particularly the ones that aren't the MD or you know, aren't the director of music. They literally just play organ or keys. But to my surprise, there were some differences in the pay based on the areas that they lived in. Like it seemed like a lot of the places in the Midwest, like Chicago and all of that kind of favorite organists because they paid them differently. And that changed the averages between keyboardists and organists. But the breakdown for organists went like this. For five years of experience, the average pay was 250 a week. For 10 years of experience, it only went up a little bit to $300 a week. For 15 years of experience, the pay was $400 a week. And then for 20 years of experience, the average pay was $500 a week. Now with keyboard players, what I found out is, like I said about organists, that organists were favored more in certain areas. Well, keyboardists and like pianists were favored in a lot more areas. And there's probably a lot of reasons for this. Like in today's time, a lot more churches have keyboards than they do organs because organs are really expensive and they're expensive to, you know, upkeep. And also contemporary Christian music or CCM music is a lot more dominant these days than traditional gospel. And that type of music uses more keyboard type of stuff than it does organs. So you can kind of see why maybe the keyboard position is favored a little more in a lot more places. So the average for keyboardists with five years of experience was 250 a week. The average pay for 10 years of experience was 325. And then for 15 years of experience, it was $400 a week. And for 20 plus years, it was $500 a week. Now onto the MD or music director. And when I say MD or music director, it could be the keyboardist or the organist, or it could be the worship leader. Basically, whoever the person is that's in charge of the music department at the church. You know, they just go by different titles at different churches. Some churches even call it like the music pastor. And it was this category where I found some were averaging about $5,000 a week. And it was only just a few of these that were averaging that kind of money. And of course their responsibilities were a lot more entailed than one rehearsal and one Sunday service. They were running music departments at multiple campuses of the same churches and, you know, doing a lot more stuff. But the reason I included that pay in the averages is because there were three or four of them that were only doing one rehearsal a week and one Sunday service, and they were just delegating all of the other responsibilities to other people, and they were just over it. So the average pay for MDs is broken down like this. For five years of experience, the MD made $350 a week. For 10 years of experience, the MD made $400 a week. For 15 years of experience, the average was $500 a week. And then for 20 years of experience, the average was $700 a week. 
Now, use these averages and this chart in your negotiations when you're trying to work out how much you're getting paid by a church or to know if what you're getting paid at your church now is fair or not because a lot of church musicians still aren't being paid fairly these days. And that's because a lot of people still don't think their church musicians should be paid at all. And that's something that I discuss in this video right here. So make sure you go check that out right now.